We want a shrubbery. As much shrubbery as you could possibly want, Oberon Prime will soon be completely blazing it. Now, Devstream 94 was jam-packed full of pretty much, well, not really a whole lot actually, but it was the last Devstream before TennoCon, so the reveals or sneak peeks were always going to be pretty limited. They probably want to keep the good stuff for the TennoCon Devstream. So, what did we actually see during last night's stream? First up, let's talk about that short teaser at the end, that pool of water. What the hell was that all about? Everyone quickly jumped to conclusions. People see a puddle of water and instantly scream, Hydrate Prime! I seen it, I thought of it first, totally my idea, I mean, stop it, no, just no, knock that feckin' thought out of your head right now. If the big Tenocon reveal is going to be Hydrate Prime, the golden tickle monster himself then, it's going to be a huge letdown. Compare it especially to last year's reveal of the War Within quest, I mean, come on. So please don't let it be Hydrate Prime, let it be something much better. That and we've just had Oberon Prime released, so I think personally it's a little bit too soon to be announcing another Prime, so I'm hoping it's a quest of some kind, or maybe Warframe's new minigame bass to mount fishing game. However, a much better idea of what that teaser was actually aimed towards is the possible arrival of a certain long sought after Umbra Warframe. So on Reddit, a user by the name of Leaflings has a post which points towards an old line of text that was once in the game files but later removed, which quoted the line, but all miracles require sacrifice, which was used in this teaser. That line was attached to the data mine files for an Umbra flashback dialogue. Another aspect Leaflings points out about the teaser is the day shifting to night during the teaser. This can be seen or recreated during an Umbra total eclipse of the sun. And I know it's still a little bit cryptic, but in terms of reveals or big reveals for Tenocon, I think Umbra would be a much larger and much hyped after reveal than that of Hydroid Prime, or even Bastamout, if it uh, is ever a thing. In fact, Bastamout could be fun. If you enjoy Bastamout, let me know. What do you guys think, though, of this teaser? Is it Umbra, or do you genuinely think that it's Hydroid Prime being revealed? Also, on last night's dev stream, we now know that Mag and Rhino Prime are going to be unvaulted soon, allowing us to farm all of their parts all over again, as well as the Dakar Prime, Bow Prime, Bolto Prime, and of course the Ankyros Prime as well. If you want to play the long trading game and make a decent amount of platinum, then get as many parts of these as possible before they return to the vault so that you can sell them in a few months' time and make a nice tidy profit. And of course, as shown at the start of this video, Oberon and Oberon Prime's Hallowed Grounds visuals are getting an overhaul to make them look a lot more like shrubbery, the 420 kind of shrubbery, no doubt, so that he can blaze it all day long, until of course he gets the munchies. So there's gonna be no more murky looking crappy Hallowed Ground visuals. Now we got another look at Harrow gameplay and of course his alternate helmet. They also showcased the new Tenogen spear gun coming with Harrow. This spear gun's secondary fire will place mini bullet attractors on enemies' heads to help full-blown potatoes out who struggle to get those headshots. Harrow's Thurible, that kind of mace thing that he spun around, would be a much better weapon and I would have been much more excited to have this than another spear gun or even a big old flail. Now they also showed off the new Grenier Nox enemy type that was shown originally in Oberon Prime's trailer. It deals toxin damage and you can shatter its helmet by shooting it in the mouth or in the face and when it dies it's going to leave a toxic cloud in its place. So another form of guaranteed toxin damage to eat away slowly at your Warframe's health. And the fact that this guy is going to be heavily armoured, it means he's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. A bit like those infested drones which leave those toxic clouds around which at high levels will kill you in a split second. Now that's pretty much the dev stream, like I said there wasn't a whole lot on it. Tenocon Barrow won't have anything new when he arrives on the weekend of the 8th of July if you've bought that digital ticket. Just all of his old stuff, so there's going to be rare mods worth getting your hands on, maybe if you want to make a bit of platinum off those as well. Also they quickly mentioned that we won't be getting augmented specific mod slots for our warframes which I think we all knew we would never get anyway but would still be nice to think if we could have them to fit these augments in some of our builds without destroying our actual builds or destroying our efficiency or duration or power strength just to fit one of these augment mods in. So that's the dev stream like I said let me know what you guys think of the reveal shown at the end. I'm going to replay it now in a second in case you haven't seen it. Is it Umbra or Hydroid or maybe you think it's something completely different? Bast them out. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.
But all miracles require sacrifice. 